What's up guys, Rob from DeBrandis Gaming, and we have our first character spotlight for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Uh, so from what I understand, uh, basically the character showcases aren't going to be as in-depth as Nick Brawl 1, which is a little disappointing. Um, it would have been nicer to have the longer showcases, but because there's more characters, um, they're going to be doing a little bit more of like a just a highlight kind of situation as opposed to like a full in-depth analysis, which, uh, you know, will make it so that when the game comes out, we're just going to have to lab and figure out everything about the characters. Uh, but we do have a little bit here. So why don't we go ahead and check it out? So here we go. Armed with fearsome karate capabilities, bubble blowing expertise, and his trusty hydrodynamic spatula with port and starboard attachments, SpongeBob has all the SpongeBob tools here, of course. to drive in Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. SpongeBob is an all rounder type character with a straightforward moveset perfect for beginners probably is or jab. even experienced players who just like to make the wave most dash. Of tools. His light up, up air and down back attacks air. are great for launching and juggling opponents until it's time to start using his aerials. Down tilt the most and up noteworthy tilt. of his aerials are his up air, which has a wide arc and pops opponents upwards, and his forward air, which Ooh. has a powerful spiking sweet spot. A spike on his fair. Ooh, okay. Once you're ready to end your combo, his side and upcharged air attacks are great choices at high percents. Kind of has cat dog attacks, up strong, it's or cat dog aerial up strong, basically. Has three on the ground and three in the air. SpongeBob has relatively short range and isn't the fastest character by any means, so he mostly Was has that to a unique on his grab animation? Bubble blow to take control of the stage and find an opening. His side special, Fishbowl Strike, can also be a solid approach option thanks to its surprising speed and Kinda an ability has a little to bit of Sonic. a small amount of damage before getting Also, it looks like we saw a Additionally, Fishbowl Strike can a jab be used as a from recovery tool to get a little bit closer to the stage before using his uh, April there. We're going to go this back to and slow this down and stop. But we'll just go through this out. whole thing at once. But keep in mind, you can only grab the ledge towards the end. So don't So you have to high. sweet spot, yeah. In the event that your aim is slightly off, maybe try spending some of your slime meter to cancel the move and air dodge to safety. Or okay. better yet, if you're craving something a little more advanced, try canceling the move offensively it's into bag. <laughs> or even better, better yet, cancel it into his down special, Chef Flip, and combo that into a finisher. Chef if you land flip. a hit with Chef Flip, you can cancel the move immediately by jumping for those fancy looking combo extensions. So down special and jump nice cancels. Bonus, it can also redirect projectiles. If you're just looking for a place to find your sea legs, SpongeBob is a great place to start. Just Once you get comfortable stage with the there. game's mechanics and SpongeBob's own tools, see where your imagination it looks like... leads you. Okay, so if one thing I want to point out, jumping, uh, into his down special, Chef Flip. And right off the bat, before we finisher. continue here, if you land a hit with Chef Flip, you... Mermaid Man costume. Okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna go through back here. We're going to pause and talk about some stuff a little bit Armed more. Fearsome karate capa so this is... Abilities, bubble blowing okay, so it looks like we do... This is like soft confirmation of multiple costumes. Because look, he has the Smitty hat here. Patrick's wearing something else. And then in later, we see him in the Mermaid Man costume. So we do have multiple costumes uh, for characters, which is cool. Armed with fearsome karate capa so this is going to be his fair, which has a spi is uh, which has a spike. Neutral B. There's squid. Expertise and his trusty hydrodynamic spatula. That was his slime metered uh, neutral special. And his trusty hydrodynamic spatula with port and starboard attachments. SpongeBob has all the tools. So looks like we have the Technodrome is back. Um, I wonder the if it has the platforms off the two. side, because if not, SpongeBob then I don't see why it wouldn't be legal this time. With a straightforward move set. So this is probably his jab. I would imagine a rapid jab into a finisher. With a straightforward move set, perfect for beginners or even experienced players who just like to make the most out of simple. So that was his up air. We to saw that. This looks like a really good juggling tool. This looks like it's gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be really, really good for juggles. Out of simple tools. His back air, kind of like a nice simple back kick. Nothing too fancy there. Looks like it disjoints maybe a little bit. His leg looks like it's a little bit longer than it would be otherwise. His so that was a B reverse, which is kind of interesting. That kind of basically says that B reversing is in the game, which is cool. His light up and down attack. Yeah, so just, you know, looks like pretty standard up tilt. Um, 
Looks like decent range. Up and Probably down. will set up for juggles. On attacks or nice down tilt. Looks like it pops up if your opponent is grounded. Great for launching and juggling opponent. That was his looks like his down air actually. And juggling. Great for launching. Yeah, that's definitely his light dare. And juggling opponents until it's time to start using his air. Yeah, so it looks like the the start. down tilt pops up. So you could probably do a down tilt to up tilt, which is nice. Using his aerials. Most noteworthy. His nair. Yeah, that, the goofy goober like things, probably his. Uh, Most his noteworthy nair. of his aerials are his, his up fair, air, which back has a air. Wide arc and pops opponents upwards, and his forward air, which has a powerful spiking sweet spot. Yeah, this was light fair. Once you're ready to end your combo, his side. That's just an error we saw there. The goofy goober rock thing. Combo? Yeah. Kind of has a little bit of Garf Nair from Nasby 1, where Garf just kind of extends his arms out. So, probably a good combo breaker, you know? Probably a good way to kind of get your opponent off you a little bit. Oh, his side and up charge. And that was probably his strong. Uh, Probably a strong fair. His side and upcharged air attacks are great choices at high. That's presence. a strong up air. We know that. On the subject of charged attacks, it's quickly worth mentioning that every. That was his, looks like his down strong, maybe. Character has three on the ground. I'm not really sure, because what would this be? Of charge, which attack? So it's quickly worth. Oh, mentioning that might be that his. Uh, has three on the ground. His neutral strong. Or I guess forward strong now, technically, because of analog input. Because this was his down strong from Nasby 1, so... Round. But what is... Okay, so I guess that's his up strong, then. Interesting. It's quickly worth mentioning that every character has three on the ground. Because that's his forward strong. And three in the air. Forward strong, up strong... Down strong looks like a SpongeBob has kind of like a crash move, you know, kind of like a Reptar down uh, aerial down strong. So yeah, you're gonna have your up strong, neutral strong, and down strong, which are your charge moves. Looks like no like strong bear or strong fair. Although actually, I wonder how that's gonna work. I would imagine it's your. It's probably gonna be like your. Forward air would be short. I don't know. It's relatively short range and isn't the. So I wonder what this is. I wonder if this is a command grab or if this is just a range and isn't the fastest character. SpongeBob has a, SpongeBob a unique has grab a relatively animation. short range and isn't the fastest character by any means. So he mostly has to rely on his neutral special, Bubble Blow, to take control of the stage and yeah. find an opening. His side special, Fishbowl Strike, can also be a solid approach option thanks to its surprising speed and an ability. So it looks like. April probably has a multi-hit jab that you can hold to keep it out. Based Ability on that animation. A small amount of damage before getting knocked. That's her. <laughs> Strong neutral. The boom mic is back. Out of the attack. Additionally, fishbowl strike can be used as a recovery tool to get a little bit Patrick's, closer to uh, the stage before using his up special. Neutral strong. Closer to the stage before using no, this his is up Patrick. Fishbowl strong. It's a surprising speed and an ability to absorb a small amount of damage before getting knocked out of the attack. Additionally, Fishbowl Strike can be used as a recovery tool to get a little bit closer to the stage before using his up special. This move does a good job of covering SpongeBob's head while it's out, but keep in mind you can only Same grab the special. ledge towards the end, so don't aim. Yeah, so you have to sweet spot it, it looks high. like. In the event that your aim is slightly off, maybe try spending some of your slime meter to cancel the move and air dodge to safety. Or better yet, if you're craving something a little more advanced, try canceling the move offensively into an air strong. Is or even better, better yet, cancel it into his down special, Chef Flip, and combo that into a finisher. If you land a hit with Chef Flip, yeah, so it's like his down special. Can cancel the move immediately. Looks like kind of like uh, Lucy down tilt, his down special. Cancel the move immediately by jumping for the. Yeah, ba it basically is Lucy down tilt. Because he kind of scoops Oops, you up from underneath the with the spatula. Immediately by jumping yeah. for those fancy looking combo extensions. And as a nice bonus, it can also redirect project. So it looks like we have, you know, a Jimmy move here. His uh, rocket. If you're just looking for a place to find your sea legs, SpongeBob is a great place to start. 
Once you get comfortable with the game's mechanics and SpongeBob's own tools, see yeah, where so your SpongeBob imagination Yeah, so SpongeBob looks like he's going to be pretty similar to Nasby one. Looks like he's pretty combo heavy. Him having Lucy down tilt is kind of crazy as a down special. Um, because his down special looks like it might be a little... Or his down tilt might be a little bit slow. Um, but if you could just supplement that with down special instead and not really care all that much... Um, yeah, so looks like his combo game is going to be pretty good. I imagine that like maybe down special up tilt into up air strings because his up air looks like it's going to combo pretty well. Um, his nair looks like a little bit less of a combo tool, maybe a little bit more of a get off me, but um, I could see it still being used in combos as just like a range extender. Having a spike on his fair is pretty scary now. <laughs> um, as if SpongeBob wasn't already scary enough uh and the side special being able to give him a little bit better recovery option because that was one thing that was not a weakness but it wasn't the strongest part of his game was his recovery in nick brawl one because you could just jump into it and it would lose height every time it hit an opponent so you could just literally jump into his up special and, and have him get eaten a little bit so him having a side special that is a recovery option kind of like uh i'm trying to think like who would be a good example i guess like sponge like not you know sonic with like the homing attack has, has that sora has his like homing attack recovery type option obviously it doesn't home but um yeah i don't see any reason why spongebob would be bad i mean he looks like a really good character it looks like he's got juggles for days the only thing that held him back in nasby one um was maybe a little bit of a lack of raw kill power except for some of his moves but uh it looks like his moves are a little bit stronger it looks like his recovery got better and it looks like his combo game is going to be just as good so honestly i don't really see any reason as to why he would be bad at all he looks like a really fun character to play and um it's nice to have that kind of simple, uh, easy to get into character that is also good uh, for newer players. So, uh, yeah, I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far from SpongeBob. Looks like he's going to be pretty fun. Looks like he's going to be sick. And uh, yeah, so as more of this stuff comes out, of course, I will be checking in and trying to make videos uh, as this stuff comes out. I will be at SmashCon this weekend. So, if anything else comes out this weekend, um, might be hard for me to upload so if i miss anything this weekend as far as character showcases i will of course update you guys when i get back so i hope you guys enjoyed uh look really looking forward to nasby one and uh well no you're looking forward to nasby two i already have nasby one and uh yeah i will see you guys again next time